And a very, very special welcome back to my guest host today, Mark Trout, a.k.a. Trey's in the house today. How y'all doing? Yeah. How you doing? So amazing. Up top. Welcome How back. How you doing? Thank you. It's well, been a while. You have been part of the Candy Fresh family for a while because once you're here, you're hooked. Yeah. Or they just don't let you leave. Well, you know, that's well, that too. You know. Which is a good thing. Well, it is a great thing. You know, I've kind of done everything, you know, a little bit behind the camera. Mm-hmm. Audience. Cleaning up. Audience. Yeah. Clean, oh, you clean up too? Oh, yeah. I clean up. I do everything. Like physically or like the floor? Or both. Okay. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I'm trying. So tonight, we got a really cool show. Oh, it's the music show. All right? things music. Everything. For the music. love of music. It's going to be so amazing. How many music fans we have in the audience? We got a lot. Okay. I know our Twin Cities community absolutely loves our music scene, especially those from Minneapolis and St. Paul. Am I right? That's right. Whoop, whoop. So tonight we have a lot of awesome guests. We got so Ozuna in the house. Okay, we got Amber Ace Cleveland in the house. And Juice Lord here tonight. Juice Lord. We also have Mike DeCole. Mike. Say it again. Mike. De. De. Cole. I think you're a fan. I am international. Ooh, international. Okay, you can just be okay. his publicist and walk around and like you know praise him like that, okay. which which would they that. they understand they appreciate. Yeah. We also got special guest DJ tonight. Who's here? DJ. What? Oh, what? <laughs> so Tell don't it. go anywhere because you are watching another episode of Candy, Candy Fresh. Fresh. Candy Fresh got the new now next. If you were those artists in the city, come on and get your shine on. Get your shine on. Yeah. I don't want to call it. All right, welcome back, welcome back. I have our first incredible guest here tonight. Oh, thank you. Asu oh, soon. Oh, soon. Oh, soon enough you'll be on that stage. <laughs> Everybody's going to want to come and be part of that sold out show. How are you, my friend? I'm really good. I'm really good. How are you? I'm doing great. This That's is my first time experiencing your aura, and I'm loving it so far. <laughs> are you guys loving this so far? <laughs> All right, let's get to know this lovely lady. So you kind of like music. I love music. You love music. Love well, music. you're in good company. <laughs> um, we're going to get to know you. So let's go back a little bit, okay. talk about how you got your start into the industry, okay. and we'll go from there. Well, I got my start actually when I was about five years old. Um, I actually started through 4-H. I'm not sure if any of you know that. Um, yeah. I had an older sister, she did poetry, and she knew this upcoming producer. And, you know, my mom, she kind of, you know, made my sister take me everywhere with her. So one day she brought me to this little recreational center where the producer was working, and she was working with him, and he was working on instrumentals, and he was mixing, and, you know, it just, I've always had a passion for music. So I walked in. And he was doing all this cool stuff on the computer. And I'm like, whoa, I want to do that. <laughs> oh. So we started to, you know, talk and everything. He asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. We talked mm -hmm. about things like that. And I didn't actually start writing until I was about seven. But, wow, um, started writing at seven <laughs> years old. Yeah, like it was in really elementary early. and music? <laughs> yeah. Okay, a little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. And uh, he was actually my mentor. He's actually my mentor. I still work with him now. So ever since I was five, he's been, you know, teaching me new things, things like music theory. He taught me how to rap. Um, I had singing down pretty much on my own already. You had that down. You want to give him some <laughs> love? What's his name? Give him a shout out. His name is Jalil. Jalil Shabazz. Hey. By the way, we're not related. We just have the same last It's name. cool. It's cool. <laughs> family, right? In yeah, a yeah, sense. yeah. Family. Right on. So that brought you... 
it kind of ignited your yeah your that definitely sparked my interest even more. Um, I started to get involved with different types of music. You know, I right now my new thing is Caribbean music. Like the, Cal the Caribbean flow. That it just so. is never gonna <laughs> get old, right? <laughs> Do you guys just love the Caribbean music, especially in the dead of winter in the love tundra it. of Minnesota? I love it. A little Caribbean music. Yep. So okay, so we're getting a little warmed up here. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're are you newer to the Twin Cities, or you've been around here for a little bit? Um, I've actually lived in the Twin Cities pretty much my whole life. Okay. Um, back in I live actually in West St. Paul. That's pretty much where I grew up around Robert Street. We love St. Paul, obviously. <laughs> so where can people find you at a show? Or how can we listen to your music? Well, Are you writing any pieces right now? I am currently writing a piece. I do perform frequently at state fair or there are some county fairs that I go to, Ramsey County Fair. Okay. Uh, I perform there a lot, pretty much every year. Okay. Almost every year I perform at state fair. That's a I big deal. It is. That's it a is. Big deal. It's really fun. I Props to that, it. you guys. State Fair, <laughs> that's a huge audience. It's really fun. So if you could categorize yourself into like a genre, which is ridiculous because, you know, a lot of creatives and musicians dabble in a lot of stuff. But what is the, what is your forte? Um, Caribbean. Oh, well, yeah, a little bit of Caribbean, but mm, probably a little bit of a mix of pop and Americana. Okay. Some little Caribbean okay. There. Add a little spice. Do you write your own music and perform? I do. Wow. <laughs> so with any projects on the horizons, what can we expect coming up? Well, I do have one already out. I'm getting ready to drop it. It is a Caribbean vibe. Yes. Well, just a heads up, guys. Yes. Heads um, up. Literally. That's good. Currently working on a project right now. It's more of a pop vibe. Sure. But it is, it's definitely, you know, upbeat. It gives me a good, gives me a good feeling. I think, I think people will like it. You guys like feeling good when you listen to music? I mean, I think that's important. <laughs> and music is therapy, right? It is. It I is. mean, when you're having a good day, when you're having a mm -hmm. bad day, when you're just angry at the world, when There's you're dealing with a breakup, when you're just a song for every mood. needing some boost with your workout. So what inspires you? What, what genre, any artists out there? There are a lot of things that inspire me. You know, it could be something that I see one day, or it could be a thought that I have. It could be anything. It could yeah. be a person. Actually, people actually inspire a lot of my music. A lot of people. Is that right? Yeah, especially people, you know, like friends yeah. or even strangers. Just people, that's really one of the biggest influences. So the project that you're working on now, or maybe you can talk about a piece that you recently finished. Mm -hmm. What is the storyline of your lyrics? Well, is for it love? Is it a school party? <laughs> Well, for the project that I already finished, it's a, it's like a summertime song, okay. and like it's that. really about, you know, it, it, it's a, it's about a boy. It's about a boy. I'm it's just, about I'm just, a boy. I just get There's that out a there. There's boy involved, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, inspire the music. Yeah, it's more like a, but it's like a, it's a moving type of song. Okay. It makes you want to move, and that's that's the type of music that I love making. It's the type that makes you want to get up. And move. And this particular song is more about, you know, you're you're getting a vibe from mm -hmm. this person, mm -hmm. and it's a nice vibe. It's not exactly, you know, it's not solid, but it's intriguing. Like right. this person is intriguing. They're interesting. And so, you know, you're like, you know, come over here. Come over here. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you guys intrigued <laughs> at all? Like she's kind of just teasing us a little bit. <laughs> I kind of wish we had a track just to play right now. Oh, well. So. Careful what you wish for. Do you want to do an impromptu? Oh, uh, well. Oh, oh I, I could. Ask. I could. 30 well, seconds. Singing and rapping. Ready to go? Impromptu? Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Uh, I do me like no one else because I'm me, not no one else. There's no one else that could get that dough. There's no one else, no one else that could get that flow. Like so. And I'ma get it like I never had it. And when I get it, I'ma have it like I've been getting. And I'ma stick with it, complicating the matter. My brain is saying like the Mad Hatter. I leave the rest of them flattered. And I'ma do them like the movement they come to me for approving. And I'm such an improvement because before me, they never knew them. And I prove it so profusely they never can introduce me. It holds true that I go hard on this rhythm that I'm inducing. I say deuces to the ones that be brooded. About just how I could do it, but how? Because I got the juices, so must I have to compute it? I got them in the days like, wow, they want to beat me, yet they can't, but I could show you how. Uh. Oh, 
Okay. I mean, I'm hooked. So everyone wants to know, <laughs> I want to know, where can we find you on social? What you got coming up? Any gigs? Tell us all the things real quick, how we can find you. I do have a Facebook. Um, I am currently in the process of actually making a professional one for just, just a strictly a music page that everyone can follow. Okay. Um, I do have a SoundCloud I'm intending to drop some music on. Everyone can follow. That will be posted on my page. Right on. Um, and what's the link or the, the name you go by? Is it Osun? Yep, it's Osun. All um, right. And I, you know, may or may not be planning to perform in Statesville this year again. Teasers everywhere, guys. All right, <laughs> give it up one more time for Osun. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Stay tuned. More Candy Fresh coming right up. Thank you. Candy Fresh got the new now next. If you were those artists in the city, come on and get your shine on. Get your shine on. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Candy Fresh. Are you having a good time? <laughs> I'm having a great time. I, I was better in the audience. You were, we got this. <laughs> so I have an amazing, amazing guest. A professional professional, from what I hear. Well, Miss Amber <laughs> Ace Cleveland. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me. I mean... I don't know how professional I am, but we'll see how this interview I, goes. I mean, that, that's a very professional name. Right it, off the bat, where did the ace come from? I stole it. You? Oh, oh. Uh, uh -oh. From my brother. He, it was his graffiti artist name, and then when I became a graffiti artist, I inherited it, I guess. Inher okay. He's seven years older than me, so he retired. He retired the name, and you just kind of picked it up? I picked it up. All right. That's and beautiful. I made more money with it, so it was my name then. But that's how it goes. <laughs> she literally stole the name. Yeah. So, okay. So, <laughs> so I understand you are kind of a jack of all trades, but yeah. you have a movement coming up, I should say. Yeah, that's a good name. I, I'd say it's a movement. Yeah. I mean, the name of the show today is pretty apropos, For the Love. So I throw an event called For the Love Project, um, and it's a 10-hour hip-hop festival held okay. for free to the public in Mears Park on Saturday, July 6th. That's like right there. Wait, where are directions. we? Directions. Somewhere over there. It's somewhere in St. Paul. It's close. It's <laughs> close. -ish. It's in Lower Town, yeah. Okay. Um, I, get a, I receive a generous grant from the Cultural Star Fund, which is in St. Paul, if you don't know about it. It's a grant to help the arts in Lower Town. Okay. And so this year I took first place in the grant position. Yes, Woo thank you. <laughs> After five years, finally got my full ask, so... Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a really exciting year this year. It's our fifth year that we're putting on the event. So wow, that's it's the biggest year. That's, that's professional. Yeah. You see what? Oh I'm yeah, you're right. Here? I am professional. That, that's okay, super cool. professional. Okay, so <laughs> you started this show. Yes. It's your fifth year. Yes. Where do you see it going? Um, well, this year we're actually taking it from being in just an event, a single event that happens in July to it's being converted into a full nonprofit. Oh. Yeah, so uh, I'm currently getting a doctorate in education at Hamlin, and I do hip-hop as a shared cultural language, and thank you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what, what, where do you find the time? I um, mean, the money's the more important part. I can find the time. <laughs> I, I, I barely can focus on going to the refrigerator. Right, And then yeah. back and watching my Netflix That's shows. That's a Bite Squad. Get Bite Squad, and then you'll be good to go. Uh, Ooh, uh, no sponsors. No. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, I've been finishing this doctorate, and the idea is that I want to bring hip hop into the educational landscape as a way to share cultures because I feel like the divisiveness between um, races, especially in the field of education, is where we get the opposition of the opportunity gap. And so okay. I feel like if you can have a shared cultural language and hip hop being a culture that most of us are aware of, am I right? Most of us right. have. Most of us. Most of us have had some kind of aspect in hip hop. It's a way for. Um, educators to connect better with their students. And so the For the Love project is figuring out a way to build a curriculum to take it to after school programs and within schools. And so that project will be running year long and then the event in July will be our annual event. That's amazing. Come on, whoop it up for that one more time. That is a lot of coordination, yeah. a lot of dedication. So the show, if anyone hasn't caught the show before, yeah. what would you liken it to? So um, the show was really inspired, the, it well, was inspired two ways. So Desdemona, who is a female mm -hmm. hip-hop artist here in the city, cities, yeah, 
she, uh, I was walking with her in Lower Town six years ago, and she's like, oh, this would be a great place for a show, but my brain heard festival, and so <laughs> I took the idea of a show and changed it into this 10-hour festival, and so she's really the main inspiration of where it came from, and then the idea, too, there's an event called Soundset, which is an incredible event um, put on by Rhyme Sayers every year, but the event is really cost, cost prohibitive to audience members because they have to pay people a whole lot of money, right, to perform. So I thought, why don't we take the socioeconomic part out of it and bring it right back to the culture? So there's a lot of elements you would found, find at Soundset. There's MCs, there's DJs, there's dancers, there's graffiti walls and things like that. But we've completely removed the cost to attend. So everything is 100% free. Yep, everything's 100% free, and every artist that performs that day is paid. Oh, wow. Okay. I think I might have to dust <laughs> off my... Uh, Artist shoes there. Well, come, right. You come can, get some you of can, that money there. because we actually opened up last year the application process. Ah. So if you had to, the For the Love Project, it's ForTheLoveProject.org, you can apply to perform at For the Love. And there's 12 spots open to anyone. And I have a group of people, a board of people that go ahead and pick those artists. And then I will have a few co headliners. And then the announcement that nobody's heard that I'm making today. Do we need a drum roll? Can you we can get drum a roll. DJ, can we get a drum roll? <laughs> so <laughs> it's a hip hop drum roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the announcement is our headliner is High Respects. So oh, that's a big deal. We're in St. Paul. Oh, wow. They have a day named after them in oh, St. Paul. I want a day named after me too. I'm working on that too. Okay. <laughs> okay. July sixth, hopefully. So. July sixth. July sixth. Um, this so is yeah. gonna be an amazing show going to be a major show and the other thing is we're opening it up to community members to come and vend so if anyone wants to be a vendor in the community they're more than welcome to come and they can email me through the website and food trucks and everything you got everything hopefully i think you've got everything except for what? a juggler do you need a juggler i mean you know <laughs> i can i got like two sure if you bring your own insurance we can do that. All right. All right. <laughs> so before we get out of here, mm -hmm. is there anything else you want to tell the people about this amazing show, about your amazing organization? Um, just looking for people to help and support. Um, it's an event that I personally put on by myself. I do all the planning for it. I do have people help me the day of, and great people like Bianca has Ooh, been uh, in doing photography me forever. Be. Yep. DJ Han what has DJ performed Han at Poor Love. What? <laughs> See, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, Didn't have yeah. the drop ready. Didn't have that drop ready. <laughs> um, but it's a community event. Even though it's an event I created, the idea is that this event is owned by all of us. It's not my event. It's our event. So. Well, that's just, I, I don't think I can put it any better. You heard what she said? You got to <laughs> come out. What's the date again? Saturday, July 6th. And for everybody like me, that's Saturday. July 6th. In Mears Park. In Mears Park. It's, I swear, it's like literally right there. You can walk like out it's and that it's way, but somewhere close. I feel like it's that way. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to get on up out of here. All right. Sounds good. Can Thank you for that? having me. Yeah. Oh, wonderful <laughs> guest. Everybody clap it up for Amber <laughs> Ace Cleveland. <laughs> All right, all right. Welcome back. We have another amazing Salute. guest because they're always amazing. Yes, Welcoming indeed. Welcoming to the Candy Fresh show for the first time, Juice Lord. Yes, Welcome make some noise. Back. Yeah, we out here. We got a fan back here. We got some fans in the audience. We know Bianca and Essence love you. So welcome to Candy Fresh. Oh, man. This is amazing. I'm glad to be here. Oh, nice it's to such meet a you. pleasure. <laughs> if there's anything I know about the creative entertainment industry here, especially especially the musicians who I supported through my old PR business for years, yes. was the heart, the soul, and the appreciation for just acknowledgement. And I can just get that vibe from you right now. So it truly is an honor to have you here. Thank you. No, yes. Thank you. We yeah. hope to see you at uh, For the Love. You oh, know, I would, I would love to, man. I, I didn't have so many friends. That I performed for years and I've been going for years, so I love to appreciate it. We'll see sure. you there. Well, let's learn to. a little bit about Juice Lord. Okay. That is a fun name. Let's talk about that real quick. How did that even come about? <laughs> well, my nickname is Juice. I got a uh, high top under here. Um, 
was inspired by Tupac. I had a juice hair juice haircut in like seventh grade or whatever. And I got the haircut and since then they've been calling me juice and then once I started stopped hooping, uh became juice lord, then it went to juice lord because it just sounded uh better. <laughs> better. So yeah. It just morphed into that. Yeah, yeah, definitely juice lord. So yeah. seventh grade you said you got that? Yeah, it just seventh grade. caught yeah. on since. So yeah. were you in the music ambiance um, at seventh grade or when oh did no. that catch up? Um I really thought I went to Murray Junior High School. Um, I, I really For real? thought, yeah, I'm about yeah. to do an empowerment program at Murray. <laughs> oh, High wow, that's amazing. That. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I didn't start rapping until probably like 10th grade, but I, I grew up loving uh, poetry, so I, I really started out as a poet. Um, I was, I'm an actor, too. Um, I started out with... Um, True Art Speaks with Tish Jones. We love True Art. Um, Desmona, shout out Desmona. Um, Emperor Number Theater, that's when I really started, you know, getting to uh, just knowing about, you know, what my people have been through in this country and realizing, you know, what it is like to be a black man and, you know, in America. Mm -hmm. And since then, you know, I had to do my due diligence and study, like, you know, hip hop more. And, yep. and then, yeah, from there, you know, I just, so much, <laughs> you know, I've just grown into. There's a lot that goes into it. I mean, you're performing. It's it's your passion. You mm -hmm. ought to educate people. You got to encourage people. I mean, it's, do you find that there's pressure? Or do you find it all natural to just inspire and put out the music that you create? Um, I mean, there there's always there's always pressure, you know, but uh, we're diamonds, you know. So mm -hmm. we, we, we come from that pressure. And we we rise to be great, you know. Through through anything that we go through, we rise to be great. And far as far as the music, um, my experiences and everything I've been through, my family has been through. It just goes through. It's just not it's natural. It, well, it mm -hmm. became natural as I got better at expressing myself. You're being your authentic self. Yes. And people, <laughs> we hear that word a lot, but when you actually see what that means and you see mm -hmm. that genuine vibe put out into the community, I think that's what people really appreciate the most. Yes. So what kind of music and hip hop and the, the stories that you talk about, I just, I'm all about the narrative. Like okay. what can we expect with, with your work? Um, you can expect uh, realism. Mm -hmm. um, here are some of the, just some of the artists that I'm inspired by now. Okay. I feel like, you know, my, my realm of what I've come from and where I'm at now, um, I would say my favorite MC ever is Nas. Um, Tupac, uh, Biggie, you know, people call me old head, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm also, I also grew up on listening to Marvin Gaye, Temptations, Love. Miles Davis, John Coltrane. So I, I've, you know, I've listened to so much music as far as hip hop, keep going, uh, Black Thought, uh, Common, uh, Lauryn Hill. And I love Neo Soul. You know, I swear I'm a singer, Ooh, but I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. Um, we all can sing in the shower and in the car oh, for man. sure, right? <laughs> yeah. But but no, I would say for as far as um, my music, you know, I just, you know, uh, speak realism. I speak I speak truth. Um, nowadays, I try to have fun a little bit and, you know, uh, blend. I mean, evolve with my music and not, not just be serious all the time. Also have yeah. music where... You know, we jam, we grooving and stuff, and um, uh, I don't know. I just, I just keep trying to be better. So yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. So how long have you been in the industry in the Twin Cities? Would you say? Uh, let's see. Uh, I started, I started really performing at the Blue Now. Um, shout out yeah. to uh, Niles. Uh, and that was around like 2014. Me and my friend uh, Lucian Parker, we started performing there, and then. I would say honestly, what's what is it? Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. So like uh, four, five years. About about, about five years. Okay. But I would say f I would say four years. Like you know, uh, like or three, four or three years of me really doing my thing and really getting known. It started when I seen uh, Jay Z live at uh, XL Energy yeah. Center in twenty thirteen. That was the thought, the idea. Cause you know, uh, we game changer, huh? Yeah, we we grow up wanting to be these hoop stars, but then we become rappers. So it's kind of like you know, in a sense, we, we think it's like two options because that's all we see. Mm -hmm. But now I see it's a lot more. I've gotten, uh, you know, acting. I've gotten into, uh, you know, selling merchandise, my lower season merchandise. 
and um, I've, I've grown from all that. So, uh, so an Emmy, a yeah. Grammy, I you hope. know, all we gotta get all those awards. <laughs> I, I hope. I hope. So, if sure. there is something that you want the community to know about you and your work, thirty seconds. What is that? Say that again. <laughs> if you want, if there is like elevator pitch, right? So okay. you want you want the community to know and, and and walk away with something about you. What is that fact, or what is that message you want to put out there? That message is I speak for those who can't. That's that's the main one. I speak for those who can't, and I just want to represent hip hop. I want to keep hip hop going long after I'm gone. Um, mm. You know, it started cool hurt, and uh, I want to continue that, and I want to make sure that people realize that Minnesota is great. You know, because often we get overlooked, but you sure know we're are. here, we're live, and we're and well. So yeah. Well, as Prince always yeah. said, the Minnesota cold keeps all the mean people out. So yeah, exactly. We're gonna, we're gonna run with that. So where can yeah. people find you? Social media, um, website, all of that. Let's see, Instagram, you can find me Hammer Time Juice. Twitter, Poetry is Reality. Everything else, uh, Juice Lord. All right, Juice give it up Lord, one more yeah. time for Juice Lord. You. Uh, all right, yep. stay tuned. More Thank coming you. up right Thank after you. this. Got the new now next If you were those artists in the city Come on and get your shine on Get your shine on What that is amazing And we're back with Candy Fresh <laughs> So that, uh, that song was actually really pertinent Because I am standing with the international man of mystery My big brother You see I had to swell up my chest a little bit here uh, I call you Minnesota's own Idris Elba a little bit, something like that. Mike Deco. What's going on, sir? What's up? How, What's you, up? Doing? How you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm good. Happy to be here. Shout out to my girl, Bianca. Whoop, whoop. Candy Fresh, St. Paul. Candy Fresh, St. Paul. Doing it. Yes, sir. Okay. So, if you don't know who this gentleman is, I mean, seriously, you've been, I mean, an integral part of the Twin Cities music scene. Yes, sir. The pretty much the world music scene. Trying to get out there, man. Trying, trying to get, get out, out there. there. Trying to let the world hear what, I, you. what I got to bring to it. You know, bring my part to it. That yes, R&B, that soul stuff. That good stuff. That 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 old school shoe. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Shoes. Not that old. Step Not, back a little oh, bit. Okay. <laughs> told me to cut it out. All right, that's cool. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so, so tell us about that. Tell us about what it, what you're what you're working on now. What's well, project? the first project I had released, which was um, So It Was Written, which was my first project, mm -hmm. uh, did very well. Um, actually was picked up by, I did a song, my first song was called Lost Without You. Uh, Verizon Mobile picked that up and flew me out to Chicago for a competition there to try to get me to the Essence Festival. Okay. I didn't make that part, but it was funny because that was my first time really performing. And embarrassing enough, I'm surprised I didn't run away and my, tuck my, my tail between my legs or whatever. But I was performing in front of an audience, and they had cameras that was like uh, broadcasting to millions of people. And I was supposed to get up there and sing uh, Dave Hollister, which is from my hometown, oh. Chicago. Oh, oh. I got up there, and nothing came out. <laughs> Dude, I, nothing came out. They, they, the band was going off, and I, yeah, I, I wanted to, to die. But I came back, and I'm still doing it and, and doing real well with it. So. You know, the new thing I'm working on now, um, I have a new project coming out called Simply Wonderful. Simply Wonderful. Simply Wonderful. Rolls off the tongue nicely. Yeah, and I, I love that. You know, so Simply Wonderful is just how my mindset and how I changed as a person, as an artist, the growth and the man I'm becoming. You know, I'm here with my son, which is 19 years old and in college. Shout out to that. Shout you know, out to that. Yeah, man. So um, Simply Wonderful is about just how I'm viewing life now, about the, it's a mindset of going into life and just everything should be simple in life. You know, I think sometimes we tend to make things complicated when it don't have to be, you know. And So It Was Written was about a heartbreak. Like, you hear, if you listen to that project, yeah, I put my heart into that one. Simply Wonderful is about enjoying love, enjoying life, you know, with the, you know, it's like driving down the coast with the top down, vibing with your girls, like some little jazz in there and everything, hey, you know. Okay. So, and on top of that, man, I have... Um, a fragrance, which I always wanted to do. Wait, wait, wait. Am I going too fast? You got a fragrance? I got a how, fragrance, How man. does one even get a fragrance? <laughs> See, I, actually, I've been researching. I've actually wanted that for years. But um, it was supposed to be one because with um, So It Was Written, how the mm -hmm. whole proc uh, package was, if you looked at the, the case of So It Was Written, it was like a love letter. If you uh. look on the back of it, it looked like an envelope. When you open it up, it had letters, which was handwritten of each song. 
that was inside there. So I wanted to put a lot of emphasis. I wanted people to, you know, back in the day when you used to look at a CD, you used to read the cover, you used to see who wrote it, who Wait, did all the kids in the audience are going, Mom, yeah, what's a CD? Know. Exactly. What, what's exactly. That? Everything is so downloaded it's stream now. Yes. So I wanted to give people that feeling again. So when it had so it was written, you opened it up, but then I had like a scent of my cologne in each one. So it's like getting a love letter. So my whole thing is I wanted to bring a feeling back when you first got uh, so it was written. It was like you open it up, you get to smell it, you get to feel it, you get to listen to it, and it was like creating a moment. So I wanted to I wanted people to enjoy it, you know. So I always put thought into my stuff. Some people are like, boy, you think too much. But you know, that's how it is. I wanted people to have an experience. So even with this project now, I finally have a fragrance. So the name of the CD is called Simply Wonderful. The fragrance is called Simply Wonderful. Super simple, like you said, keep it yeah. simple. Yeah. So and it's gonna be dropping in April. So it's actually being shipped from Italy. I actually, you know, went through my own little, little yeah, razzle nuances dazzles and, and something and in there. Yeah, okay. there you go. Nuances, I like okay. that. Okay. <laughs> so I heard a rumor, mm -hmm. and it's, it's not really a rumor. I heard that the entire country of Canada reached out to you in some sort of way. Yeah, which was Kinda actually close. Dude, it, it's it, you, not the whole entire country. Yeah, exactly. You know, be, just partial you half of it at least. Now. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, they reached out to me. They heard some of my music on Reverb Nation, and um, you know, um, they asked me to do a song. So I ended up doing one song for them, and they loved it so much that they reached out to me again, and they asked me to do a full project, well, an like EP. Okay. And I thought nothing of it. You know, I you know, the I didn't do any of the writing on there. Um, the one guy there, he did the most of the writing. He did all the writing. Uh, I just lended my voice to it. And it wasn't like my type of feel of music, but I still, I felt like, okay, this is a way that I can reach out to the world and somebody can hear me that I can't touch, you know. And sure enough, we end up getting nominated for an HMMA award over in um, Los Angeles. And, and the crazy thing. Can we thing, clap it up for that? Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So what was amazing, I'm thinking it was going to be like a little rinky-dink type of place. You go inside there. I go inside there, and I'm talking about, you have Earth, Wind, and Fire inside there. Stop. Yeah, you have, um, I was actually nominated with Justin Timberlake, you know, so I'm like, okay, I'm sitting, like, I'm at a, a table full of, of, of TV execs and everything, and same thing everybody always say to you, oh, Mike Deco, I love that name. So I'm like, you know what? What I had to do, I get it so much that people love that name. My son also carries that name. So I was like, before somebody else do, I had to trade trademark that name. That name. Exactly. So I that own that, and I'm trying to create a brand around it. And because he's so much of an artist, not as far as my son can sing, but he wouldn't. I tried to pay that kid a hundred dollars. He would not sing. I got a hundred and fifty dollars for you <laughs> right now. Where you at? We coming for you. But he, what he does love, you know, um, he's in, he's in college. You know, his second year of college. You know, and he's into computer graphics, and you know, he's all about the arts more and behind the scenes or whatever. So I'm proud of him for that. You know, so. I can hand down the brand of that Michael DeCole when I'm done with it and make sure he don't mess it up and, you know, let him do what he want to do. That That is amazing. I mean, just extraordinary. Yeah, and, man. I mean, I really thank you for coming out and talking to us today. Definitely, definitely, you know, man. We were blessed and privileged to have. Can I mention one more about. thing? Of do course. anybody in here know um, Sounds of Blackness? Hey, anybody in here up. know Jamesia Bennett? Clap it up. Jamisi has a song I wrote along with a friend of mine, Jay Isaac um, and Robbie Robb, that's that actually blown up. It actually won the USA Songwriters Competition, a song I wrote called Man For Me. You'll hear her performing it, and it's been on the radio or whatever, and she's doing really well with that song, and it's still climbing. And it's so funny because people tend to forget, like me, I'm impatient, you know, and I'm thinking as soon as I hit it, as soon as I create a song, I expect the world to gravitate towards it. Well, she put that song out a year ago, and it's still climbing. It's doing big, like, in other countries or whatever, so... It takes time, and, and you just, I have to sometimes sit back and remember that, that why I got into this is to get into it for the love and nothing else, you know, because once you start looking for the money and the fame and all those things there, and when it don't come, you tend to get bitter, and yeah. I stepped back from music for a while because of that, but now I'm back with new project, and I'm back to the love of it, so that's where I'm at now, man. Well, we back. I'm glad you're back. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, uh, we have a special treat for you guys today. We are gonna let Mike Deco do a performance. Y'all wanna hear him sing? I know the ladies yeah. wanna hear him sing. Yeah, it's a new track I actually, a friend of mine's wrote, uh, Tim Levy and myself, it's called Dedicated, so I'm definitely gonna perform Ooh. that. 
Okay. Well, before you sing that, yes, I'm going to have to get my girl up out of here because I can't okay. have her, you know, talking about you later. <laughs> so uh, when we come back on Candy Fresh, we got Mike Deco. Thank you for having me, man. Woo-hoo. Appreciate it. Thank God. So this is a song I'm going to do off the new project called Simply Wonderful. It's called Dedicated. Dedicated to anyone who wants this song to be dedicated to them. Mm-hmm. See if I can hear myself just a little bit more. Check it out. Dedicated, dedicated, dedicated only to you. Even though you may drive me insane, you're still the first thing on my brain. You're a mess, but you're perfect for me. There's nothing about you I change. I don't ever appreciate when you show up so late, that drives me completely nuts. We can fight a thousand more times. Baby, that's just correct. You won't ever lose my love. You. I promise you'll make up won't ever run. Your beautiful face keeps me coming home. I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated. Dedicated only to you. When I tell you this, take it to the bank. My love for you, girl, it won't never change. I'm dedicated, dedicated, dedicated only to you. There are times when I might need my speed. Not a woman alive on this earth comes close. Not even close to half of your worth. I don't ever appreciate when you show up so late. That drives me completely nuts. You could fight a thousand more times. Baby, that's just called life. You won't ever lose my love. Two-step, you got your two-step. How you guys doing? Did you have a good time today? Yeah. Wow, what an episode. And I can definitely sense the love of music. I mean, this town is not shy of talent at all. Not at all. I had a great time co-hosting with you. Thank you so much, Trey, for being here today. Give it up for Trey, you guys. And I had an amazing time with you. The best host on this side. Of the planet. I mean, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. That's true. Give it up, Ani. Female here. MC. Give it up, Thank you. But we we wouldn't have had a great show if it wasn't for our guests. So we want to thank Osun that was here tonight. Clap it up. We want to thank Amber Ace Cleveland. All right. Juice Lord was here. Juice Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Can we say it at the same time? Mike, Mike DeCole. DeCole. 
and our DJ. What? What? And for you up out there watching, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Candy Fresh. 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 Candy